Hello, Aries. This is your girl, Tarot Queen Jamila. And uh, welcome to your Screw Your Gravity Tarot card. Uh, Screw Your Gravity X Lover Spread. So this is the spread that talks about ex-lovers who continue to have a an effect on your life. And so I'm going to be exploring that today um, for April 2018. And uh, we'll see what messages spirits have for you, okay, Aries? Uh, so we're going to call to the spirits and spirit guides for the Aries. Aries, sun, moon, and rising, and even the cross watchers, okay, if there's any messages for you. Uh, where is Aries' current relationship? So show me, and this is in particular for those of you that are either, I'll see if, it depends on what we see, okay? If you're single right now, I'll probably call it out, okay? Uh, but particularly, we want to look at people who are in relationships or out, you know what, in or out, whether or not you're single or not, okay? So show me Aries' current relationships. Show me Aries' ex. Okay, how do they affect Aries? So, uh, you know, are they causing pain? Are they causing sorrow? Are they still talking about you? Uh, why do they still affect you? So we want to know if they still affect Aries and why. And advice for the Aries to set themselves free from their influence. There is nothing worse than being under the influence of your ex. Um they make it seem like you still want them, especially if you don't want the relationship and you cannot stand them. Um, I don't like exes that are like that. I don't. So probably a lot of people that are stalkers, they don't come to me to get readings because I'll tell you straight up, hey, you know, and some people don't have enough sense to tell you that. As a tarot card reader, I'm going to tell you when you're wrong, okay? And I think stalking is absolutely out of the question. I have never liked stalking. There, there are some people that think it's a game. And to me, it's not. People tell you to leave them alone, leave them alone. Okay, now, your current relationship. A lot of you Aries, you're either, you know, you're either being strong and doing the lone wolf thing. Um, you know, or your, your significant other is, is the king of wands. Okay. So your current relationship, it looks like a lot of you Aries are with a very strong fire sign. Okay. Let me throw some more cards at that fire sign. So you can see very strongly that a lot of you Aries are either with another Aries, another Leo, or it could be a Sagittarius. Okay, spirits, give me more info about this King of Wands. Okay, so I knew it. They're jealous. <laughs> They're playing right into it. Their your ex is actually it's working on them. They're 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 being very very ridiculous because they are actually buying into the jealousy. Your ex is able to make them jealous, Aries, and I bet you it is driving you crazy. Uh, I can't deal because I feel like Aries doesn't even want their ex, and if you I can see in particular if it's a Sagittarius or another Aries. Now, if it's a Leo, probably not. Leos can be jealous too, but they do have jealousy because of your ex. So, you know, that's leading to issues in the relationship. Uh, advice for that. They seem to be very easily touchy, touchable. Yeah, they have insecurities. <laughs> And also, I was thinking you need to protect them more because for some reason, they're just wide open to your ex. Uh, Aries, you need to draw some boundaries is what your spirit guy right here is also telling you. You need to draw some boundaries. You need to be strong. Don't pussyfy yourself for your ex. I'm sorry. Uh, now, this is your ex. Your ex is the nine of coins. 
So your ex probably is in a situation to where they have a lot of different lovers, but they also want to keep you as well on the shelf. They are someone that prides themselves on having a lot of different lovers and a lot of money that, you know, I do see them as being sort of materialistic. Um, now, your ex is also in a relationship, so they are currently happy in their relationship. But, you know, so um, how they still affect you is the Knight of Swords. So they're still working on your subconscious and they're probably an air sign. It's either an earth sign or an air sign. And they are just, I mean, I, I don't like them. I'm just being honest with you. If you're cross watching for an Aries, let me tell you why I have a problem with you. It is because you are literally causing stress in their relationship. You know, yeah, the Aries that you're with, they are hot to try they make your curls toe. They they made your curls uh, your your toes curl up. But you need to let it go. So you're traveling by air. Your energy, your thoughts, you're thinking a lot about your ex. You're thinking a lot about them for some reason, and I think it's because you haven't settled down yourself. So Aries, your ex is not settled down, but for some reason, they running around sleeping with a bunch of people and then transferring that thought process to you. So they're purposely projecting that anger and their that jealousy onto you. So that is how they still affect you. I don't know why Spirit just told me all of a sudden to do these readings. Spirit, give me some clarity on the Knight of Swords. I mean, especially if they are an air sign, Libra, um, Gemini, or an Aquarius, they're sending telepathic messages to you. Okay, so they are, in fact, causing trouble to your current relationship. Uh, if you are Aries that is with somebody and you're having trouble in your relationship and you didn't think about it, yes, it is your ex. Yes, it is your ex. They don't want you to move on. Why don't you let them move on so they can have happiness? You, you've got to be something. You know, for me, I feel like this. If a person doesn't want to be with me and they say to me, they say, hey, you know, I'm so. And, and maybe it was the way Aries ended it with you. Maybe that's what it was. But you can't, you know, and, and maybe there's still some closure that is needed because the world card does come up. Okay, but, you know, I, we all can't help who we think about or whatever, but it seems like to me that, you know, you're projecting way too much onto your ex. You're doing something, in particular, if you are an air sign or an earth sign, you are guilty, especially if you are a Taurus. I'm sensing that a lot of you Aries have Taurus exes, and so you're probably a Taurus that's watching this video. Okay, and you guys are the bull. You guys actually have fire energy, in my opinion. So I actually get along with Tauruses very well. It's not because I'm afraid of you. I will rumble with you. <laughs> you know, you guys are really frisky, okay? And, you know, I like that about Tauruses. <laughs> but you guys, you know, so yeah, you may be a Taurus. And your t if you dealing with a Taurus ex, they have not settled down. They still hoeing, okay? <laughs> Uh, okay, so why do they still, no shade to you guys know how I am. Okay, so why do they still affect you? Because there's closure needed. There's closure needed and, you know, you've got unfinished business with that person. But I do feel that they are uh, something about travel plans currently in April. They're a part of the journey. OK, they are a part of the journey. In fact, I kind of feel like a lot of you Aries. Maybe you're still communicating with them. Spirit, give me some clarity on the world card. Yeah, the, uh, I'm sorry. Just speaking. Yelp. Yelp. The six of swords. So 
unfinished business, but it's also uh, an argument, some kind of disagreement. You know, both of you need closure. Uh, now, your final advice card for setting yourself free is the hermit. So Aries, you need to ground yourself. First of all is what the hermit is saying. He's also saying that you need to protect yourself. He's also saying that maybe you need to take a break from this person, your current lover. Maybe you need to take a break between the two of them to clear the air because Aries lover, you are, yeah. Now, if that king of, of wands is the Aries and you're still single, okay, if this is you, if you're a single Aries, if you don't have a relationship currently, you might be throwing some anger and some jealousy. You may be holding yourself back. Okay, so just to let you know, you may be harboring that anger and you need to get your mind off of it and just free yourself of it. The hermit is going to tell you that I feel like he's telling you to take some time alone, of course. But then also he's saying for you to do some introspection and some inner standing. I hope that this video gets millions of views. This whole set of, of, of uh, these videos, I'm going to market these videos up and down the Internet. Because I feel that if people can have a greater inner standing that we can have less crap in this world, okay? So, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> the hermit is saying for you to take some time alone, connect with your higher self. He's also a spirit guide. He is a very powerful spirit guide that's telling you to get in touch with your spirit guides. Okay, final advice from the Hermit or final advice for the Aries. Okay, the Empress. So again, that's an earth air energy. Uh, he's saying uh, with the Empress, I feel like the Empress representing birth and fertility. The Empress also does represent grounding yourself. Okay, the Empress also represents pampering yourself. You need to pamper yourself, okay? Especially if you're single, you need a massage. You need a salt bath. By the way, Divine Mommy bath salts are available on the website. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I feel like pampering yourself. I feel like the Empress also represents... It represents, it does represent uh, abundance of money, okay? And it represents also telling yourself that, so I feel like grounding yourself and using visualization because some of you may even have some financial setbacks because of your ex, especially if you're still single. So they're telling you to, you know, you are what you think, essentially with the Empress card. It's not about what others think. It's about what you think of yourself. It's about your thought processes of yourself, what you tell yourself. So, you know, be good to yourself. Take some time out to take care of yourself. Okay. Anyway, that's your reading, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you need a private reading or if you want to donate to the channel or if you um, need any spiritual work, uh, the link to my website is below. See you guys next time. Blessed be.